Hey guys, thanks so much for coming in for a video today. I am not going to show you my jewelry collection today. I showed you quite a bit of those videos before, but I'm going to show you how I now store them because a company reached out to me and sent me this fabulous, I mean absolutely fabulous cabinet for jewelry storage. And I will take you through some of their pictures, some of their web pictures, because it was very difficult to get the mirror that's at the front of the door and it was just very confusing. You couldn't tell what part was my, my bathroom door and what part was that door. So I'm not gonna show you the front, but it is completely mirrored at the front. And that gives it a wonderful secondary use, which is a, a full length mirror. Plus you can use the cabinetry in here, not just for your jewelry, but for your makeup. If you don't have as much jewelry as some, you can use some of the storage for your creams and your lotions and so forth. But I, found it so fabulous because now I don't have to put my gold jewelry in one area, my sterling in the, in the other, and uh, you know, basically have to look through two boxes to find what I want to wear that day. So let me take you quickly through the wonderful features here in the cabinetry. Uh, I think this is probably about four foot, probably about four foot long. I'll get the correct dimensions for you. And so at the top, it has a big, big display area. For, well not display but storage area for your rings and I like the way they have like a little prong there so they really fit nice and snug you see the ring just kind of pops in there really nice and snug I really like that then you don't have any fear of them getting bigger a lot of times when they're just two cushions and you put your wider bands in there they tend to like this one here they tend to stretch out and then it just they don't stay in but I love that feature I mean I can't even fill it up and I have quite a few rings so that was a wonderful feature I really liked and I had been wanting to get this is why I'm always struggling with my jewelry is because I never have enough storage for the necklaces they get tangled you want to wear that one with the other pendant it's a mess you have to find it you have to untangle it so here I was able to find a wonderful place to put most of my necklaces that already have their pendants, my favorite pendants on them. So that was really great. I love that. And then here's a little, and then some of my long necklaces as well have a little place to perch, which is wonderful. There's my James Avery charm holder. And then this, I like this as well. These are like little um, shelving to put your cuffs. I did put my little sterling cuff there and I have a couple more but they're listed so I'm not going to put that I'm going to just try to keep this with my own personal jewelry and then here's a couple more cuffs that I showed you before and they fit really nicely in there these are the little Tiffany pouches that I got when I took the money clip to get polished these little Tiffany pouches the other day when they polished up the uh, Atlas bar for me and I'm wearing the Atlas bar so it's not stored in there but I thought I would you know, I have a nice place to have it there. And then here's the money clip, and I'm going to show you that later. And then another shelving unit for even more, either earrings, probably your clip-ons, or other types of big earrings that you really don't want to hang up. And then I love the feature of the little drawers down here. This was a really nice feature, too. Nice deep drawers, and I put in there, I put my pendants. And I do like to switch pendants around some of my favorite chains I switch around so that was great for that because I'm always like I said struggling as to where I'm going to put all of the pendants and they kind of pile on each other and they scratch each other so this is hoop great. earrings and things like that in this one because you there's an area here where you can hang the, the earrings as well but that's not going to be necessary for these because they can be a little troublesome to have to hang up but it's nice to have those little drawers look how deep they are it's about two inches deep there. I love it. And then here it was again, one, two, three, four, five shelves to put like, I think in the pictures you'll see that they put lotions and makeup and other things put away. Here's some photos that really showcase the utilitarian aspect of this beautiful item. It actually has a lock and key, which was another feature that I absolutely am ecstatic about because I, my number one fear, and this has happened to my sister, that she was robbed and they come in and they just grab the jewelry box. This is very, very secure oriented, which I love. And then up here is where you can hang uh, pierced earrings or you can put them through the holes. So you can either put your little studs there 
I've only put one pair so far because most of mine are on a tree right now and I don't really have that many that I want to put in here that are this type. The rest of them, like I said, I do have some studs in here. You can see down in there I have uh, some little jade studs and some little diamond studs down in there and I'd rather have them there in the drawer but when I do buy my little fashion pieces or anything else that I want to put in there they just hang so nicely like this. You just hang them there or into the little holes there. They can go very nicely in there as well. I love the little rack for the bangles. I have my James Avery bangles. I have the one I just bought. Some of my gold bangles there. Perfect. I can put all of these on this side. I don't have to have them scratching each other in another jewelry box. This is an amazing, amazing item. I really love it. Uh, I have my Hermes bracelet here. I have some of the antique vintage, uh, or rather the vintage mid-century watches that I found in the jewelry jars. This is that uh, 14 karat gold boulevard. I love it. And then this is that bracelet. Well, I'm talking about my bracelets. I'm not going to tell you all about them. I'll save that for the collections. Let's just talk about this fab fabulous cabinet. And then it's just so much safer for your chains to be hanging. And then my other chains are down here. I even have another row of necklace hooks for just my simple chains that are always getting tangled or I don't know which is which and this way I know this is the shorter 16 inch that I want to wear and layer with another 24 inch or so forth so everything is easily accessible uh, this is a game changer my daughter says can I get one but let me tell you guys you can get one I'm getting a coupon code they were kind enough to leave me a coupon code where you can get it for half price and it is so so worth it I mean it mounts on the door up here I have it mounted on my door, but you can also mount it on your wall. You don't have to use the brackets. So that's that. And then like I said, it has a full mirror right here. You can't quite see it there, but it's in entirely a full length mirror, but it is incredible. Key here, you turn it, it opens. Beautiful, beautiful cabinet. just really was so impressed with it. I haven't seen anything like it. I've seen the almoirs, but those take up your floor space. And this can be mounted on your wall or in the back of a docket. Take your key. All right, guys, so take advantage of that coupon code down below. This is what it'll look like when you link on to Amazon. And this is what it'll look like in your bedroom. This is a fabulous piece. I absolutely adore it. Thanks again for watching.